Okay, mixtures, on the other hand, consist of two or more substances which are not chemically combined together and it's in an unfixed ratio. Usually, when a mixture is formed, no chemical reaction occurs and very little heat or light is given in or taken out. As a result, the mixture is not pure as it consists of more than one type of substance. A mixture also has properties of the substance that make up the mixture. Let's look at the example below. We have air. Okay, air has the properties of the elements that make up air. In air, it actually has oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Hence, it will display the properties of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Okay, let's look back up. A mixture can also be separated into its components by physical methods such as evaporation, filtration and even distillation. And also bearing in mind that all mixtures, they do not have a fixed proportion. Okay, let us look at more examples of mixtures. When we dissolve sugar in water, it's actually a mixture called sugar solution. Soy is also a mixture of sand and clay. Bronze, as we mentioned earlier, is also a mixture of copper and tin, while brass is a mixture of copper and zinc. Duralumin is light and strong, and it's actually a mixture of aluminium, copper, as well as magnesium and manganese.